Okay, this is lesson 3.2, modeling linear word problems. And if you'll notice, there's a huge box here with a section crossed out and it says omit. Uh, we're actually only going to look at one type of word problem in this unit. Uh, just to kind of lighten the load of this unit. Um, we will revisit word problems again, um, but not, not, not in this unit. So we're just gonna look at one type. So we don't have to worry about the fact that there are two right now. Every question you're gonna get from this point forward is just going to focus on the one type of word problem. Um, so when we're looking at word problems, um, to model a word problem means to uh, develop a system of equations. Uh, our first step is to declare the variables we're gonna use, which means what letters are we using and what do those letters represent? And we do that by saying let statements. So if we're writing equations of lines, we usually have y equals mx plus b. Well, what's the y and what's the x? And not many things in the real world actually start with the letter y and x, and we usually don't model, I don't know, equations about yaks and xylophones most commonly we're talking about things like money and time and distance and speed and we'd use letters that are kind of more associated with those things like money could be M or if it's about cost, how much something costs, you might use C. Um, so we're probably picking letters that are a little bit more relevant. Uh, in part two we're going to create our equations. So I'm going to try to show you an example of developing a word um, equation and uh, defining some variables. So let's come down here to our first example. This is about Carl's Towing. Carl's Towing charges $80 plus 22 cents per kilometer. Bev's Towing charges $70 and 30 cents a kilometer. Write a linear system to represent this problem. Which towing company would you use? Explain why. Um, all right, let's uh, let's take a look at this. Well, declaring our variables, I've already kind of started declaring. Them. I say let C represent something and let K represent something. So that means there's something in here that we don't know, um, and we're going to define them with letters. Well, if we read carefully, it says Carl's, company, or Carl's Towing charges $80 plus 22 cents per kilometer. So if we're going to hire Carl's Towing, one question you might have is how much is it going to cost? That's what we don't know. If we just hire him and we don't go anywhere, it's going to cost us $80. But if we travel somewhere, it's going to cost us more. So the cost is something we don't know. So we can say let C represent the total cost. And we're going to write an equation for C. We're going to write some C equals equations. And K, well, why do you use the letter K? Well, because the cost is going to depend on how far you go. Because it's 22 cents for every kilometer. So if we go 100 kilometers, it's going to cost 122 cents. Uh, we can do some math and figure out exactly how much that is. But K is what we don't know. K is the kilometer. So if we look at Carl's Towing, there's two parts to this. There's $80, I'm going to highlight it in yellow. And there's $0.22 cents per kilometer. Now if we want to write an equation for Carl's Towing, It's all about how much money it costs, right? Because it's going to cost $80 plus 22 cents per kilometer. So we're going to write a C equals equation. Cost is going to equal something. Well, and the neat thing about this is it's going to follow a Y equals MX plus B, where, I'm going to write that up here, Y equals MX plus B. Remember, it has two parts. It has an M and it has a B. B is the starting value. 
It's where we're starting on the y-axis. Well, Carl's towing starts by charging $80. So that B part of the equation is that $80. That's what's going to go at the end. So that leaves this number, 22 cents, as the end. And if you think about it, that kind of does represent the slope. And the reason why is, well, the slope is how much you're going up by. Well, we're going up by 22 cents for every kilometer. And now we just have to think about the x and the y and what letters those are. Well, since we're writing an equation for cost, the y is c, which makes the x the k. And what's going to go in front of the k is how much we're going up by. And what's going to go after the k is our starting mass. So before the k, 22 cents. And adding to that is the $80. So we're starting at 80 and we're going up by 22 cents every kilometer. The per part, where, wherever you see the dollars per kilometer, that's a slope. Anytime you see the per. And the number that just has one unit, dollars, that's the y-intercept. If we're thinking back to a y because that makes this big. So let's try to write an equation for bed. Well, it's going to follow the same structure. It's going to be C equals something per kilometer plus a starting cost. Well, if you look at the equation, Bev's towing charges $70 plus 30 cents per kilometer. So her starting cost is $70. So that's our $70 starting cost. That's our y-intercept. That's the first amount we start with. And the per part is how much we're going up by, 30 cents per kilometer. 30 cents per kilometer. And there we have it. Carl's towing and Bev's towing. Now it says, which towing company would you use? Well, if we were to graph these, we could really figure out which company we're going to use. Um, but at this point, we can really only answer the question by looking at starting costs. Carl's costs more, but then doesn't go up as fast as Bev's. So we're probably going to use Bev's company because she's the cheapest at the beginning. And then at some point, she's probably going to become more expensive because she charges more per kilometer. So which towing company would you use? Well. I would use BEVS until Carl's becomes cheaper. And the neat thing is we can figure out exactly when Carl's becomes cheaper and that's finding the point of intersection. So that's actually where we're going in this unit is we're gonna move past writing an equation and then we're actually gonna graph these and find out exactly when Carl's becomes less expensive. Bev's is at the beginning, 70 versus 80, but since she charges more per kilometer, eventually she's gonna cost more than Carl's. We just don't know when. So this will have to be a 2D continuum. All right, if we flip it over here, I've crossed out a section on the bottom about the band, but I've left this one up here for you. This is a practice example. So this is actually gonna be the end of the video, um, but what I would like you to do is I would like you to try to model this equation on your own. Look for the starting amount and the per amount, and that'll be your slope and your y-intercept for both scenarios. Looks like we've got two different types of quotes. 
uh, try that one on your own and check your answer on the course website and then uh, give some of the practice questions a shot. I think I assigned you two for the practice. Um, that's it for uh, Lesson 3.2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in 3.3.